happy Monday, January 23. It's already the 23rd of January. And we wake up to the news and we see such horrific snowstorms and rainstorms on the west coast and now going up the east coast into Maine and whatnot. But yet, did you know, here in the Chicago metropolitan area, we have yet to have a day below zero in January. Thank you for that. Other things that's going on is you see that um, Alec Baldwin, uh, Gutierrez, on the set of the film Rusk from about a year and a half ago or so, uh, they've been charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter for the death of Hutchinson there. Microsoft announced that they're going to lay off 10,000 people, and then Google announced that they're going to lay off 20,000 people. I think that was because they overestimated their uh, workforce needs because of the pandemic, but now that the pandemic is coming to a conclusion, people are going back to work, people are not shopping online and things of this nature. Well, they still are, but not to the extent that they were before. So it does justify that. I know that doesn't help those that got laid off um, and all. And come on, what's going on with the debt, national debt? We've reached our limit. What does that mean? Oh, politicians, take a heed to this. It's not that hard to figure out. If you reach your debt, you can't pay Social Security checks. I've got a lot of clients in here who depend on those checks. You can't pay the military. The people who are defending our country. So politicians, you all know I don't like you. You're just proving me right. If you can't, if you've been elevated to your level of complete incompetency, why don't you have the integrity to step down and let somebody else who knows what they're doing do the job. Anyway, let's get to today's topic. So we've been very busy here at the MLD agency and the same thing with the insurance companies. And even when I talk to the marketplace, I'm providing basic service even though January 15th was the cutoff. Most people at the marketplace said they're not busy like they were in years prior. So how does that work? A few weeks ago I said that the marketplace was reaching its record numbers, but yet when I talk to the marketplace, they're like, we're not busy. Hmm. Dirty little secrets, right? Let's talk about another dirty little secret. All right, here's what's going on in providing customer service. We use what's referred to as an EDE, Enhanced Direct Enrollment Provider. It allows me to go into marketplace accounts and to service these accounts. And I've gotten calls for things such as phone numbers, um, name changes, basic customer service, email changes. And at the end of making all these changes, it asks me, do I does the client want to retain the same insurance policy? The answer is yes. It doesn't go through. How come? Couldn't figure it out. So in conversations with multiple people at the marketplace who are saying, we've got this problem, we don't know why it's not going through, then call over to the insurance company. These are our rates. The rates are given to us by the marketplace. Didn't know that. The marketplace actually sets the premiums the insurance company can charge. But, thank you Blue Cross. Blue Cross actually sent me a spreadsheet of rates. And as soon as I saw the rates looking at one client, I go, oh, you're this age, and that's the premium. But the new premium coincides with an attained age change. Following the string here, I called back the marketplace, and it took me about four people before I actually got to somebody who knew what was going on. So it's a dirty little secret. The one thing about dirty little secrets is, they do have a way of coming out in the long run. <laughs> Did you follow that? If you have an attained age change, a birth date, and you're asking for basic customer service, that could cause a premium increase. It's a dirty little secret if the marketplace personnel don't know about it. When I question my EDE, they didn't know about it. And in talking to the insurance companies, they didn't know about it. Shh. Dirty little secret. So what do we do about it? Well, unfortunately, now that I know, if somebody calls me up and says, hey, I need to have this customer service done, 
I'm going to look at it and say, have you had a birth date? If you've had a birth date, I'm going to say, you're going to get a new insurance premium from the insurance company. But now the marketplace told me, well, then we have to adjust the premium credit that the client is going to get. So that might help offset some of that insurance premium differential. This is just kind of foreknowledge is forewarned. If you call me and say, hey, how come last month I was paying this much and now I'm paying that much? Or for me, it's important to know because maybe I can't provide customer service until after the fact because I can't update the file or I choose not to update the file because I'm trying to prevent you from getting that premium increase. In either case, now that we know, we can advise you better and you can have a better understanding, especially if you see this video before week, What was going on at the MLD agency? Well, we exposed the marketplace with their dirty little secrets. Um, the other thing that's going on is we're working on two groups and getting their group health insurance renewed. Wrote a couple of dental policies. And thank you very much to those who've referred your friends and family to me. We wrote three finder fees checks last week to uh, clients who referred business to us.